Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your mystery love reading. This is your mystery lover in 2020, somebody you haven't met yet that is around you in your energy. So we all know how we there's a lot of misconnections in love because we're busy, we have so much to do all the time. So this is to help you pay attention, all right? Because there's definitely going to be somebody with their eye on you this year in 2020 your mystery love who are they for pisces who's coming towards pisces who is pisces mystery lover spirit let spirit be your guide somebody is being guided to you by spirit oh my gosh they're all the readings are coming out like this this is hitting home with the guides let me tell you so let's let spirit be your guide. So listen to the spiritual message. Spirituality is probably going to help you um, achieve this, or this person is, okay? Or they just are being guided somehow. This person is watching you. Use your mind wisely, the pig spirit. This person sees you as lucky, <clears throat> and uh, they watch you. They feel they would have good luck. It's what they want, put it that way. And also the pig spirit, when it's use your mind wisely, this person thinks you're smart, uh, okay? Because we all know that pigs are extremely intelligent, so they think you're very, very smart, okay? And that's awesome, that you use your mind wisely, <clears throat> and I feel that they probably are too. Yeah, they kind of act like they don't care. They look good and everything on the outside, but on the inside, uh, this person thinks you don't care about them. You won't like them. They don't think they're good enough for you, that kind of thing. All right. But they feel guided towards you somehow. They're definitely watching you a lot or going to be. They could be someone you work with in your neighborhood, through your friends. Uh, wherever you hang out and go, it could be at a grocery store where they see you all the time and you just aren't noticing, okay? So, I'm going to do four. Because I did four for so many, I might as well continue doing four. Except for the first few. Yeah, I can see clearly now. This person, this is my card that I was like, somebody's getting new glasses. Maybe this person's getting glasses. Maybe they don't see well, but it's saying that you're not seeing them, but they're watching you. They see you very clearly. Okay, they like you. They watch you. They figure, they think they've got you figured out, but they think that, that you might not like them, that they may not be good enough, so... Uh, on the outside, they act really friendly and bubbly around you, but they they kind of get this impression, maybe if you work with them or something, that they're not good enough or you won't like them, or they just have that little bit of low self-esteem. Now, they do act a bit aloof, like they maybe aren't interested, but they are, okay? They really think you're smart, though. They really do. Wow. All right. This person will say something eventually they will they will start to see themselves that way and hopefully come out of that okay so let's have a look yeah so this person's trying to figure you out they're kind of watching you from a distance figuring you out they might think you're a bit of a player okay but they're trying to figure you out they really want to win you they really do but they feel like they're not good enough Okay, they really do. Uh, they're probably a snappy dresser, though. They probably really dress nice all the time. Okay, <laughs> most definitely. They dress to impress. Uh, and the reason they dress nice is because if they don't, they don't feel good enough. Like, they're trying to come out of that. Okay, they think they've got you figured out that they need to dress up, too, possibly. Because maybe you do, all right? So, but they do kind of... They are trying to figure you out. They want to win you really bad. They're very focused on you, watching you. Find out where they are. Yeah, they see you. This person, yeah, look at that. They think you're good luck. They think that you would make them really, really happy. And I think they figure they could make you happy. But, yeah, I think they kind of got a little bit low self-esteem. They are emotionally available. They're trying to figure out what makes you happy so they can do nice things for you too. So they probably watch you to see what you 
I mean, if you go to lunch at work and everyone at your work goes to the same place to eat or or maybe you go to the same place every day and they see you, okay, they're watching you to try and see what it is you like, what they could do to make you happy, all right? They probably sit and act like they don't care. They probably look away, that kind of thing, which a lot of people do that, right? Especially at first. They might be a little bit shy, but they certainly dress nice. They might be watching you. They might think that you're sad. They might think you're a little sad inside. Okay. And on the outside you look happy and on the outside on the inside you're not that happy because of something. They're starting to see you very clearly, trying to learn about you. Yeah. That's the person around you. Yeah, so that needs healing. So they've been holding back because of that, okay? But they think that that needs healing. They think you need to be a little more out there possibly too. I kind of feel like this is how they're seeing you, that you dress nice, you look good on the inside, that maybe you're not that happy, okay? We'll find out. They're probably pretty clever. And then we have the King of Pentacles. So, <laughs> yes. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. That's who they are, possibly. Or they're just somebody, they could be your boss. They could be somebody that you work with. Uh, if you work in accounting or finance or anything like that, this person may work in the same industry, so you may be around each other through work, even in your friend circle, so keep that in mind. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, this person is, they, they kind of, they're worried about getting hurt, right? <laughs> they're worried, they've been played before, so they're very worried about being hurt again. They've been stabbed in the back, so this could be their energy too, where, you know, they look good and everything, but on the inside, maybe they're not, but they are worried about being hurt, or maybe they think that you've been played or something's happened to you. Uh, they may know something. Let's see here. I got a funny feeling this person kind of knows a little bit about you, but they've never revealed to themselves. Yeah, they're coming towards you slowly. They're really taking their time, paying attention to all your details and everything. This person feels they could make you happy. They really do. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Heavy earth sign and some air energy here. All right, Pisces. Very interesting. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. <clears throat> They've been holding back for a bit, uh, but they do want to come towards you. They want to go about this right. They are willing to compromise, but you do possibly work with them, or you have worked with them in the past, or you work uh, on the same block or the same building, anything like that. So pay attention to the people on elevators and stairways and out in the parking lot, wherever, right? This person's, they're watching you pretty closely, they're trying to figure you out. This is somebody who's pretty intuitive, I think. There's something about you. They think that maybe you got hurt. Or maybe they want to make sure they do everything right. So um, they don't think that you're they're playing you or something like that as well. Or they want to watch you careful to make sure that you're not. But they do want to win. They really do. They really would like... They really think that you would make them happy and vice versa. Wow. Yeah, they're going to reciprocate pretty soon. This person's very generous. Whoever they are, they've got money. They may pay your pay your check. They have they could be a boss for some of you. Yeah, work in accounting, accounts are payable, that kind of thing. All right. Uh, maybe they're the ones that work, you know, they pay everybody at work, that sort of thing. But you do possibly work together or you've worked together in the past. Maybe even something creative. Maybe you paid them or they paid you for something. Okay. Yeah. 
but they are going to reciprocate something to you pretty soon. They're going to start to communicate. They may give you something. They might have tossed you a few breadcrumbs here and there, and you're not going for it. There's that Cancer, because, you know, the Cancer reading had uh, very strong Pisces energy, so cross watchers are going to love this. Pay attention to all the details so that you don't forget, because uh, this is good for all of January, or all of 2020, right? So far, most of the readings look like they're going to happen in about four months-ish, give or take. Yeah, so this person's a little indecisive, okay? They're afraid, I think, to come forward. They know they want to do everything just right because they don't want you to run away. They don't want you to take off. So they're kind of holding back. They're having a hard time figuring out how to approach you. They're at a bit of a crossroads. Uh, they've been moving really slow. This hasn't been moving. So they've been watching you for quite some time, maybe even a year or more. Yes. Can't, or Pisces. Who is Pisces? Mystery love. Ah, uh, yes. Cancer. Your mystery love is a Cancer with Earth in their chart, and that's exactly what I've seen in the Pisces. So... You've been focusing on each other. You're noticing things about each other, but nobody's saying anything. Nobody's really doing... I think they've tossed you a few breadcrumbs, though, trying to cooperate or compromise, or like you may have worked on a project together. Maybe they paid you, or you were reciprocating ideas back and forth or something like that. But I think they've tossed you a couple of breadcrumbs, and you kind of didn't go for it. You may have just walked away, or... They may have asked you something. You might have gotten your car and drove away, and then they stood there, and they can't figure out a way forward. They don't know how to approach you. So they're a bit indecisive. They actually see you as a little guarded because they think maybe you've been hurt before. Okay, played, stabbed in the back, that kind of thing. Remember, I'm reading this as exactly how I meditated into the cards, a new person that you haven't actually dated. So... Don't try to read these cards as, oh, it's my ex energy. Okay, don't re let me read the cards. Don't read them. Because I've noticed lately a lot of people do that. And it's like they start telling me what I said, which I don't say. It's because and people always like, I want to see the cards. Let the reader tell you, okay? Listen, let spirit be the guide here, okay? It's very important. Pay attention. Don't miss a connection because you uh, read the cards the way as if you threw them out there. Who is Pisces Mystery Love? There you go. Yeah, so you may have met this person at a function. You may have worked together. Uh, you may know each other from... You may have met them out where you have drinks or at a coffee shop. You may have met at a wedding or something like that or a party or some kind of a celebration in the past and they reciprocated something. They tossed you a few breadcrumbs or tried to approach you, but you were getting a lot of attention. There was too many people around you. So watch that too. They also probably, I feel like this person's had a tough time. Maybe that's why they're watching you. They've been hurt before uh, with this Queen of Cups energy. They've had a tough time in love. Yeah, they've had a tough time. So maybe that's part kind of what's going on. They, uh, I feel like this person just sees you as somebody they could have fun with, you know, and they want to get together. I feel like they're going to offer to go for a drink is how they're going to do it, okay? And I do see that uh, you, Pisces, are ready for love. I think you're emotionally available. I think you might be a little bit guarded, though, guarding your heart, keeping it kind of to yourself, Trying to keep your emotions under way too much control, possibly. Making yourself a little bit blocked. So watch out for my uh, readings that are coming up soon, except for those blocked energy, okay? How to recognize your blocks and what you need to do and how you can uh, uh, clear that so things can move forward in 2020. So let me start clarifying quickly. Where are we at here? We're 14 minutes, not so bad. The hawk spirit. What's going on with the hawk spirit? All right. Yes, yeah, so I do think you're going to get an invitation. This person watched you. You may have met them at a party. So I feel like, um, I do feel like you met this person at a party. 
You may have walked away from something. Yeah, you're definitely out there. This person probably approached you. They're very, I feel like, you know, definitely water. I feel like they're very soft, um, gentle, uh, a little bit shy. Uh, they probably tried to approach you. They were shy, though, because there's always people around you, too many people around you for them to um, come after you, okay, to say anything. They don't want gossip, okay, they they really don't want that. Yeah, I, I feel like they have. Tr they're trying to approach you and talk to you. You keep walking away <laughs> and going out with other people and going to. You're probably mixing and mingling, and they try to come after you. But it may have been in the past. But this, there's going to be. Look at that. There's going to. It's going to come full circle. They're they're eventually going to invite you out, or somebody is going to invite you somewhere, and that's going to bring the two of you together so you can reciprocate back and forth. Yeah, because I do think they've tossed you a couple breadcrumbs, and you haven't noticed where they're trying to, and they can't. So, yeah, there is love here. This person actually thinks that... They think you're really smart. <laughs> they think that... Um, and they're very wise too. They are also very smart. And I think they, uh, yeah, they think that you may have somebody else too. They're a little bit worried about that. Tell me about this love. Tell me about this love. They're trying to be smart in love. That's what it is. They're trying to be smart and do this the smart way. But I do think they're like, they love you from a distance, but they feel like they're not good enough, okay? Um, or they see that you are been hurt before. It's like they kind of see through it that you actually need love. Yeah, look at that. This person, any more? Did any more come out there? Nope. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, yes, this person's be very clear here that they're trying to figure you out. They're, they have a little bit of a plan. They're going to execute this eventually. So they're just trying to get clear in their head. They want to make sure the coast is clear too. They want to communicate with you very clearly, but they can't because there's always people around every time they see you. So whether this is at work or whatever it is, whether it's at lunch every day at work or where you shop, who knows? You've got friends around you, people around you all the time. So <laughs> they, they really are trying to figure you out, but they do, they're do they trying to figure out how to make you happy. They want to do something. Um, yeah, they want to do something to make you happy. The owl spirit going on with the owl spirit for Pisces oh, too many cards just one just one please for the owl spirit just one card for the owl spirit one please oops okay that's going no not just one I'm going to give you those bang yeah so this person wants to clear up some confusion here but I think that they can't get to you to talk to you clearly because there's people around okay uh, they see all your abundance they see everything wonderful about you they also see that you have lots of options they see that you've got people around you go out you're very popular obviously you get invited to a lot of places they they actually get that okay um yeah they're they're holding back because they feel burdened a little bit by it okay they want to, they want to uh, release this. They want to let this go and get their balance here. They're looking for a balanced connection. They do, they see you as balanced, but they see you as very popular. You have lots of options. So they can see that by watching you, that you're very popular. Yeah, you have choices in love because you're smart. This person could be a Gemini. But not necessarily. The lover's card can be anybody. But I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Now we got the whole family here. 
Not a lot of fire, though. Seven of Swords. What are they trying to figure out? What is it they're trying to figure out here? What are they trying to figure out? I actually, to be honest, you know what? I actually feel like this person feels that you're sad. On the outside, you look beautiful. They think you're just gorgeous. You have all this abundance, and you do get lots of attention, but they see you as somebody who's sad inside, uh, that you've been hurt. They see that. Somebody may have actually told them that. There's been some gossip. Someone actually may have told them that. Okay, so... Yeah, I I think this person they want to fix they want to fix you. <laughs> they want to do something to make you happy. Okay? They really clearly see think that they could make you happy, but they're trying to figure out all the little things that make you happy so they can start being generous with you. Um Yeah, wow. Heavy energy. 7 of swords. There we go. Yeah, so I feel like yes, they've heard through the gossip. Somebody told them uh, there was some gossip. Somebody told them that you were hurt. So if you're somebody who's been hurt, this person is aware of it. Um, office gossip, friends, out and about, wherever you socialize, yeah. So they want to help set you free from that hurt, okay? They really do. Yeah. So you act like you kind of want to be single, maybe? No, I don't see that. They just know you want to be hurt. They want to, they want to fix you. They, they really like you. They think they could love you. Like, they, um, <clears throat> yeah, they're totally thinking about you. Look at that. They, they f focus on that, right? Like, they're trying to figure out how to go about this. How can I, how can I uh, do something nice and make this person happy? Look at that. They, they they think they can. They just got to do it the right way. They're scared you're going to run. You're a bit of a runner. But somebody's been talking about you. Yeah, look at that. They, uh, they, this person really thinks that you're commitment material. I, someone's definitely been talking about you. About what's happened to you. How you've been hurt. Somebody didn't treat you very good, and this person really wants to, uh, they want to take you, they want to set you free from this pain. They, they don't, yeah, big time. Somebody else has probably told them, there's been a lot of gossip about you, Pisces. Somebody else probably told them that someone played you, somebody didn't treat you right. Okay. They're really thinking about this, how to go about this. Very focused. Yeah, somebody told them that you're still kind of focused on this. All right, that there's a healing energy. They they know about you. Four of Swords. Yeah, they're gonna, there's been a lot of talk and gossip back and forth. So it could be office talk, politics. You know how that goes. Or through your friends or wherever you hang out. Yeah, so they want to make you an offer. They do want to reciprocate something to you, grounded and practical, that you will go for. And it's going to be an offer to take you out for a drink and talk. But they want to get you away from people. They don't. They can't approach you most of the time. you got people around you. And these are the people who are gossiping to this person about you. So they know you've been hurt. So if you're somebody watching this and you've been hurt, this person... it. They really see that, okay? They really see it. They really see that on the outside you are happy and everything looks good, but on the inside you're just kind of cold and you act very logical and you're very in control and you're, you're really smart, really intelligent. Yeah, but their heart warms up to you. Look at that. This person, wow, that's this cancer person. Coming towards you, Pisces. They they got some feelings for you. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. What's going on with this Ten of Swords? What's going on with the Ten of Swords? 
for Pisces, Ten of Swords. Why is this here? It's going to all come to an end. Yeah, they're going to make you an offer. They're going to talk to you. Okay. They're going to offer you something. They are gonna. They want to take you out and talk. They want to share their experience. They want to reciprocate what happened to them in a third party. Okay. Um, so that it'll probably make you feel comfortable, right? But they want to go about it the right way. <laughs> It's taken them a long time, so <clears throat> they are a little shy about it because of the gossip. Because they, if they say the wrong thing and they say it in the wrong way, they're you're going to know that people have been talking about your personal. Like it looks like girlfriends. If you're a woman, if not, you're a guy. But more unlikely if you're a guy, it's still women. <laughs> okay, just so you know, it's kind of how it works. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles for Pisces. <clears throat> what is it they're thinking of doing here that's taken them so long? What are they trying to get right? What are they trying to get right here? What do they need to say that needs to be just right? Justice and balance. They want to make sure they're fair. They want to do this justice, right? They want to do the right thing and say the right thing. We know that. Don't need to... What are their words? What are the words they're going to use? Let's see if I can get something. What are the words they're going to use to approach Pisces? What are the words they're going to use? Yeah, they're a little bit they're a little bit guarded. They're not too sure what to say, but I'll tell you one thing. If there's talk about you, and people are talking about you and what happened to you, how you've been hurt, they will defend you, okay? They will make sure that you are looked after. This person feels like they want to protect you um, and defend you because people are, you've been hurt and they know it, okay? Three of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so I feel like they are taking a long time to come towards you, but because of the go gossip, they're afraid to say anything because they're going, it's going to, it'll get revealed, right? So they have to be very careful. They have to do the right thing and say the right thing. Whatever they say is going to be balanced because you will be all over it. So they're a little apprehensive. They're almost ready to kind of give up. They want to come together with you and they're, trying to find ways to offer you something they just want to share their feelings with you they want to share their experiences with you okay cancer and pisces you'd make a great pair that way <laughs> six because i really feel like you guys are really in each other's energy tell me about this yeah there's that king of pentacles right there's that king of pentacles this person wants to be, they want to be uh, generous with you. I think they're your boss. They hear things, a little gossip at work. I do. I think they pay you uh, or they work in payroll or something like that. Finance. Yeah. So that's the end of that cycle. So this person, they may have used to be your boss and they're not anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when you were working together, they probably heard stuff. That's how this is playing out. Tell me about the... F Tell me about things. Oh, I see. They're going to talk to you and try to be really proud. They want to make you feel safe. They want to share their feelings with you about what happened to them so that you'll feel comfortable to open up to them, to put your cups out there, to put it out in the open, sort of like a community and put it out there. But they want to let you know about the what they heard eventually they will but they need to make you feel comfortable and safe with them first so they may used to be your boss or work in payroll they don't anymore or something like that they may have gotten a promotion so they can't get as close to you maybe as they used to or you got promoted and you got too many people around you at work but it's the only way they can talk to you by the looks of it the chariot what's going on with the chariot why is the chariot why is this cancer person coming towards you yeah, they're going to try and take control of this and get things moving but you've got this you got your guard up you're so blocked you're so 
walked Pisces. You need to put your feelings out there. You're keeping everything hidden. Nobody can get close to you. Tell me about the chariot. Yeah, this person's trying to figure out how to take control of this and how to approach you, what to say, because they know they want to say it the right way. They want to say the right words. They got, they got, be careful not to release and let you know everyone's been talking about you. Okay, they don't want to, they want to make you comfortable first and then they will share all that with you. They'll share that gossip and they'll share <clears throat> their experiences when they've been hurt. So, yeah, so they really want you to invest. They're trying to be patient, but you're very blocked. Okay, so telling you you are yeah they're trying to be really patient here they're waiting for the right time to come in and invest and say something <laughs> my goodness there you are yeah they've had a tough time in love too this is both of you you've both been beat up by love you've both all right you both need to share your feelings go out for a drink and talk that's really what they want to do and just get away from the gossip so that you, they can communicate Queen of Cups. What's going on with the Queen of Cups? We have movement. <clears throat> yeah, they want to, they're going to move towards you. They're going to, I think you're going to come out of this energy. You're going to have this reading and you're going to come out of this, keeping everything into yourself. I feel like um, you're going to get together. They're going to continue moving towards you. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Where does this lead for Pisces? I'm trying to give you as much details as I can, people. All right. Try not to be repetitive. But man, I'll tell you, sometimes stuff just hits me right. And I have to tell you, Three of Cups. And try to keep it into context is hard sometimes. There we go. Yeah, so they are. there is going to be movement. They're going to uh, want to meet you somewhere for a drink. And things will move forward very peacefully between you, very calmly. Okay, this person's going to, once they learn everything they need to, I feel like they're still gathering info about what happened to you that's gossip. And once they have it all, they're going to come towards you, okay? And it's going to go well. Think You guys will move forward together. It's all good. One more on the Six of Swords. Yeah, they almost have learned everything that they really kind of need to do this the right way, to approach you properly. Six of Swords. What's going on with this Six of Swords? There we are. Yes, they're manifesting this. <laughs> they're so manifesting this big time. They've got Gemini energy. Yeah, they hold you in high regard. Yeah, they are figuring this out. They realize, they know that you're single. Uh, but what they want to find out is if you want to stay single because they really like everything. You really look good. And you even regardless of everything, you take care of yourself. So it's really nice. I, I, you be, be really careful here that you don't um, manifest yourself right into being single here, okay? Give this person a chance. Open up a little bit because I, I see you keeping everything blocked, being indecisive. Your, your, your heart's blocked. It's like your heart chakra is blocked or something. This person's so trying to be patient with you and you're just so guarded. You've got walls up, so they're trying to come towards you and it's taken them forever because they see that. All right, so just so you know, this is your mystery person. Uh, they're around you. They are gathering info. They know quite a bit about you being hurt. They know through gossip. So it's probably going to be a little bit of a shock when they come forward. Let's see what's going on here. Who is this mystery person? What is the outcome of this mystery lover situation in 2020 for Pisces? And how long is this going to take, I wonder? I'll have to... Let me get these out and then I'll take a boo and see when this time frame may be. Here we go. Who's the outcome of this situation for Pisces? Yeah. It's funny the way this one read. But this person, this is how they see you. They so want to get, yeah, it's like I said, it's going to come out of the blue. Eventually this person's just going to uh, say something to you. Okay, right about here, well, actually up here. 
So let's see. Could happen in February. Could be in Valentine's Day. They may give you a lot. You may get a lot of Valentine's um, invitations. You may get a lot of attention around then. And that's what they're thinking. I think they're thinking about asking, giving you something for Valentine's Day. All right. And uh, I also feel it's going to come as a bit of a surprise to you. Okay. A little bit of a shock. It's storm fields. It's kind of like the tower. But it's going to lead. It's on the right path. You're on the right path with this person. They are on the path towards you. The Golden Palace. Uh, they're probably going to give you something really nice on Valentine's Day. Something special. Okay. So yeah. Movement. Things are going to keep moving forward. You may move in with this person eventually. That is the path that it's going to go. Okay. Definitely. So be careful that you don't move away. Alright. I kind of feel like... You're always on the move. Like, that's the biggest thing. You're guarded, you're blocked, you're around people. You appear to be happy on the outside, but on the inside, you're not so happy. And uh, they really get it. They they're, they got a big heart. This is a cancer. They have a big heart. This person wants to just give you some love, okay? They really just want to give you some love. They see that you need some love. Yeah. Big old softy. I think that's what is going on here. Is someone who's got a big heart. I'm going to do one more outcome. And then see where this goes. Yeah, deep freeze. So this has been stagnant and cold for a long time. So deep freeze tell me this person hasn't moved for quite some time. It's been frozen. It's been stuck. They see you this way. So do not freeze this person out. Keep moving. Let them come towards you. I I, I feel as though, um, yeah, don't freeze them out. Don't be indecisive. They're so trying to be patient. All right. So if you're a Pisces who's been kind of blocked because you've been hurt and you're having a hard time letting go, remember I got those these readings, uh, how to unblock your energy and to let you know exactly what's blocking you okay and uh, hopefully help you resolve that because you don't want to miss this opportunity this is a really lovely person uh, they want to come in and like take your pain away uh, they see it they've heard about it so all right you guys take care and i will see you next time bye for now